you know anything about show business, you know that television's all about ratings, especially the demographics. Right? Not a real horse? <laughs> it's for a very specific demographic. <laughs> People that are sexually attracted to not real horses. <laughs> of course, the demographic that everybody wants in television is males aged between 18 and 34. <laughs> for example, Because I wanted to see what they looked like. I thought, well, what's so special about men between ages 18 and 34? Well, obviously, voila. <laughs> these, are the, these are the men in the studio audience tonight it, it, between the ages of 18 and 34. I asked them to come forward, except for one suspiciously mature looking dude. <laughs> I believe Chris Rock put it, the oldest guy in the club. <laughs> <laughs> right? So many men. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'd just like you to take a look at what everyone in advertising is trying to get. Take a long, maybe we could have some music. Some music. Welcome, advertisers. Sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. everybody very well done your orgasmic blast of energy made me wobble like a play toy, <laughs> play toy. Yeah. that's what the comedian Bob the warm-up comedian we call him a comedian Jeff. Yeah, he's not really a not comedian, really a comedian no, not. but he <laughs> said well he's kind of a comedian yeah he's a guy we found he's a guy yeah. he's a guy <laughs> that not all guys are comedians right or maybe that's... or maybe they are am I right lady <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, boss. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm being a late night douche. You know what I mean? I'm trying to engage with you. Engage, engage with me, demographic. Why, uh, why are you trying to start now? I'm no, I'm just going through the motions. I understand. Trying I understand. to enjoy myself. What is the valuable demographic? 18 to 34 year old men. Is that what it is? Is that what you're? Is that, is that what you're after? Is that what you're after? <laughs> Hi, 18 to 34 year old men. You guys like sports and beer? Me too! Please watch me! <laughs> we're cool like you, call me. Yeah, we're cool. I'm cool like you. I could be your friend. <laughs> Can I hang out with you guys? Please! Please buy my products! <laughs> Let's have naked guy parties yeah. together. Oh, yeah. see, now well, sorry, sorry. You man. went too I'm far. Sorry, I'm sorry. Now I'm sorry. they're beginning to go, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> I'm into dudes. All right. No wrong with that. No 
talking about that? Yeah, no, it's fine. Go ahead. No, no, sorry. No, sorry. I don't want to interrupt. I love all the people. I know, yeah, you got the monologue. Hey, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's a great day yeah, for right. America, everybody. <laughs> All right, calm down. Yeah. Although a great day for America, not a great day in London, England. London was named the world's most expensive city. It's true as well. A, a loaf of bread in London costs $8. Wow. I, I know. Wow. I, I'm with you, 18 to 34-year-old man. <laughs> well, I don't buy bread. I just drink beer and enjoy sports. Yeah. Uh, it's $8 for bread. It is, uh, it's $10 for a gallon of gas. And a tube of toothpaste that, well, they don't use toothpaste in London, but every day. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? I'm laughing at foreigners. Ha ha ha! I tell you, though, London is expensive. I've lived there. How expensive? How expensive is London, Jeff? It's so expensive that it... Prince Charles is renting out his ears to make extra cash. <laughs> oh. It's so expensive, Prince Harry can't afford to wear pants. Yeah. Yeah. It's so expensive when Oprah shops there, she has to use coupons. <laughs> Oprah. It's, coupons. it's so expensive in London, for a few shillings, Mary Poppins will let you go up her chimney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. what? Good. No, I like that. I don't know anything about Mary Poppins. What the hell is that? I'm an 18 to 34-year-old man. What the hell do I know about Mary Poppins? I need something I can identify with. I need something I can identify with. Yeah. I want to, you to say mean things about the sports team I don't like. For example, the Raiders. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Don't make me part of it. I'm not part of it. Oh, man. Hey. Hey, you know why? Because this is not, not like any other late night show. <laughs> not like any other late night show. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, jokes. All right, uh, sure. Kardashian. You want to do a Kardashian joke? You want to do Oh, yeah, now yeah. finally a Kardashian joke. <laughs> no, okay, there's rumors that Kim Kardashian is trying to get her part on her favorite show, Downton Abbey. <laughs> Wow, that's a bit of a stretch, but then again, I've seen her in some weird positions before. Eh? Yeah. 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 If Kim were in Downton Abbey, she'd be the first Kardashian on PBS since that time Chloe filled in for the Snuffleupagus. Now, I... <laughs> that's, that's not the type of joke I like. Oh, that's comedy, right? There. I think Kim Kardashian would be great in Downton Abbey. We have a picture of what that'd be like. There you are. <laughs> Man, she really puts the butt in butler. The butt, the butt in butler. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Well, that's enough of the monologue. What happens after the monologue? We cry. <laughs> yeah, we usually cry a little bit, yeah. yeah I don't think so. I don't, there's not the desperate pleading for you to come back after the commercials. Some, I like to put a kind of cliffhanger in it. Like, oh, my voice went funny. Whoa. <laughs> I liked it, though. I'm going to do it more. Kind of sexy, yeah. <laughs> well, this is not the kind of thing I like. I would like this until I'm at least 40. Take that, target demographic. Yeah. Do you know, about halfway, they put the prompter up with bits of, you know, bits of joke that they once may use, yeah. but halfway through, they just take it they down. They stop it, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, like, ah, he's not gonna do it. Switch it off. Yeah, yeah. This is on TV right now. <laughs> no, this is on TV for now. <laughs> <laughs>
Sports, boobies, bacon. Bacon, yeah. Yeah. Someone says Sports, bacon. Sports, boobies, bacon. What else? Well, so, uh, beer, video beer, beer, yeah. Yeah. Internet porn, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, I shook hands with nearly all of those guys up here at the beginning of the show. Yeah. Hey, 18 to 34 year old man, I know what you like. There it is! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your move, man. Your yeah, move! Man. <laughs> Feeling a little crazy tonight, Jeff. Yeah. Crazy. 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 You know. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing tonight? It's a bit scary. It's like he's, he's not identifying with me anymore. What's going on? Why is he doing this? That's not the Craigie I know. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I'm here, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> time is Jeffrey Pearson. Tonight's Tweet Mail is brought to you by Beer, Video Games, and Blow Up Dolls. Yeah! yeah! Play the jingle! Euro Trash is a Euro litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Plus emails. Yeah. 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 Plus your emails. Yeah. Plus your damn emails. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Giving you answers to your questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm having a good time with yeah, this. This is great. This is great. Yeah, I love it. Hey, I hope we get some call-ins from, from celebrities who appeal to the 18 to 34-year-old male demographic. Yeah, that would be great. Who could this be? <laughs> hey, it's Jimmy Fallon. Wow, hey, wow, Jimmy. This is awesome, cool. Whoa. This is great. I love your show. You're so awesome. You look great. I love your tie. Wow, this is neat. Awesome, cool, awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. yeah. 18 to 34, click. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Way to go, man. Way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a controversial choice because I like Jimmy Fallon. He's a good guy. Yeah, well, he's then, a good guy. I, you know. well, that's his demographic. That's what he likes. All right, then. <laughs> oh. Hello? Yeah, it's uh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> do you I, still appeal I to I the 18 to 34 year old demographic? Yeah, I do, or I'll kick your ass. <laughs> What are you doing? Let, let me ask you a question. Uh, you haven't worked too hard on the Bruce Willis, have you? <laughs> I mean, it's a new one, isn't it? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's good. Let's, let's hear your Bruce Willis. <laughs> Yippee-ki-yay. That's what I thought, Haggis boy. Click. <laughs> wow, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Wow. All the big names tonight. Good stuff. All the big names tonight. All the big if names. only there were a controversial surprise who doesn't appeal to that demographic on paper, but actually does in real life. Controversial surprise who doesn't appeal to that demographic on paper. On paper, but does in real life. But does in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? It's uh, Craig Ferguson. Oh! How are you? Okay. How are you? <laughs> but how can you be calling me? I'm calling you from the future. So in the future, I sound like I'm from Pakistan? Aye. That is correct, yes. <laughs> it is me. Everything is going well. Don't worry about it. So in the future, I sound like I'm from Pakistan. Where do I live? You are, well, I cannot reveal that on the air. You, li you live in a tent. But everything is going well. You're living out of your car now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm living out of my car in a tent. That's right. And I sound like I'm from Pakistan. Yes, the, 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 tent, the tent is in the car. It's a big car. So it's, a, it's a very big car. Click. Yeah. All right.
All right. That's uh, you. That's you. Wow. Wow. Ben. We have, uh, we better very quickly go through the emails because we have no time oh, left. Boy. All right then. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I need a new desk. Okay. Uh, no, dear Craig and Jeff. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh <laughs> Dear Craig, I've never really noticed before, but without my contacts in, the horse on your show looks like a gorilla. Wow. You cool with that? Okay. And they keep coming. Oh, wait, there's one left. Uh. This is from Marcus in Coral Gables in Florida. You ever been there? Oh, yeah, Marcus, yeah, yeah. <laughs> says, Craig, I think the rhino is super cool. Is it permanently attached to the wall? Wait, are you talking to me? Well, first of all, let's establish how old you are. Uh, me? I'm uh, 47 years old. Ah, uh, you see, that's your problem. What's, what's the problem? Well, you've got to be between, between 18 or 34. That's where you've got to be. Well you're, well, you're older than that, so what the hell's your problem? I don't have a problem. Want to come over here? I'll kick your ass. Come on. I well, got that, my head. That brings us to the question: Can you kick my ass, yes. or are you a, uh, just a head attached to the wall? No, my head is stuck through the wall. I got my legs and stuff dangling back here. <laughs> so in order for you to kick right. my ass, I have to go around there, get on a step ladder, get up there. That's right. Point my ass yeah. next to your legs, which are dangling like little stubby things. That's right. So you can kick my ass. Yeah. Even now, I'm taking a swing at you. <laughs> Come on, I'll get you. Ah. Ah. We'll be right back, everybody. Yeah. Tonight, hugely successful writer, director, and producer, very popular with 18 to 34 year old demographic. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's also doing stand up performing here in LA at Largo on October the 2nd. Please welcome Judd Apatow, everybody. I did uh, that gesture to appeal to the 18 to 34 demographic. And you know what you're talking about, why your movies appeal to them, don't they? Uh, you know, it's important to appeal to them, I think. Is it? Uh, I, I think it is. Yeah, business-wise, yeah, because they yeah. go to the movie theaters. They go to the movie theaters, they watch TV, they watch Girls. They watch Girls? Yeah, we do that show, Girls. And, uh, oh, yeah, right, no, but they also watch Girls that are not on that show. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> like, they see Girls, they're like, okay, I'll look at this. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good show, that. It's a very good show. Lena. You know, she didn't ac actually want to do any nudity ever on the show, and then I told her we needed to appeal to the 18 to 34. <laughs> there you are, right. And then she's like, I'll do it just for that. I don't know. I, I've talked to Lena a couple of times. She's kind of quite a ballsy girl. I think yeah. she probably is like, no, I'm taking it off, and I'm taking it yeah. off now. <laughs> yeah. She has a book out. Let's plug her book. Okay. What's it called? Uh, not That Kind of Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tee-hee, tee-hee at the irony. Yeah. <laughs> hey, are you going stand-up again? I have been. Are you, do you still go out and Ooh, do stand-up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But why are you doing stand-up? Your life going too well? Something happened? Uh, I, you know, I was looking to lower my self-esteem and my salary at the same time. Yeah, that's... Well, you nailed it, my yes. friend. That's the way to go. Yeah. Well, did you start as a stand-up? I did. I did stand-up for uh, seven years, from, from the time I was 17 till I was uh, 24 years old. Okay. And I wasn't really great at it, uh, but I used to open up for a lot of great comics on the road. I used to open up for Jim Carrey. Wow. And, and he was so funny when I would open up for him that I 
thought, oh, you're, you suck, you're bad. He's, he's amazing. Like, it was like a young rock band opening up for you, too. Right. You know, it, it made me feel bad about myself, so I stopped, and then recently uh, I started again, and still not that good. Still not that good. <laughs> Do you know, I was once in a band that did, in fact, open for you, too. Did you really? Yeah, 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 and, and, I, and we did suck. You did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What era of U2 was it? Uh, uh, very early on, New yeah. Year's Day. I mean, oh, really. Oh, that's good. That's oh, so yeah. good. Yeah, oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. That's so, so good, no one yeah. knew we were there. So, uh... <laughs> now, now, what was your New Year's Day song? Like, what was your song that was as good as New Year's Day? Well, um, uh, <laughs> well, we didn't really have one, and I, that was the problem. We had yeah. lots of... Uh, I can't remember yeah. any of them. I was very drunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could you remember, like, a, a favorite verse of a song? Of the, the Your I used, song, yeah. No, I was the drummer, so my favorite verse went like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, is, yeah. uh, for all drummers will know, yeah. was Ruby, don't take your love to town. Yeah, I just yeah, did yeah. that there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. You're leaving now, because yeah. I can hear the banging of that door. Yeah. <laughs> I already hate this band. Oh, no, 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 that. no, no. This is, that, this is an old, yeah. uh, I think, Kenny Rogers <laughs> song or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tell me about yes. your stand-up. I'm interested. Uh, is it personal experience stuff? You won't believe what it's like directing a movie. Oh, ho! Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You suck, buddy. We've never directed a movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, people aren't really that excited to see me. I'm not, you know, I'm not that, I'm not that famous. Like, this is my level of fame. If someone walks up to me on the street and says, are you Judd Apatow? If I say no, they go, okay. <laughs> so I don't really get that, like, ooh, Judd Apatow's here. Uh, I know. In L.A. Yeah, you will because you're a director. So the, yeah. the, like, the whole first two rows will be breasts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? They'll be like, you're so funny. <laughs> I appeal to the 18 to 34 demographic. I'll take everything off. <laughs> and then, and then the yes. women will be worse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotta do that. You are on your game. On my game. Yeah. You are not phoning it in. Not phoning it in. <laughs> 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 Here, you answer it. Oh, I wonder if it's someone that appeals to the demographic. Might be. Which side? Uh, in there. Hello? Hello, what? it's Morgan Freeman. Oh! Hey. Uh, what, what demographic do you service? I serve all demographics. <laughs> that's true. I believe in fast food, fake boobs, and apathy. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I hear, uh... I hear you're narrating a new documentary. What is it about? It's about you and how unfunny you are on stage. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Morgan is been... heckled by Morgan Freeman by phone. Uh, he has gotten so mean since he the gets... Dolphin movie. Yeah. yeah. The, the Dolphin movie did not open, and he's vicious. Oh, oh, oh dear. Now don't start with that. Now. Hey. What, what about the hecklers and stuff? Does that bother you? Oh, jeez. I, uh, I, you know, I haven't had too much of that. When I was young, I first started doing stand-up when I was 17. I was in high school. Ooh, yeah. I used to say to the crowd, uh, hey, can you uh, heckle me because I really don't know how to handle hecklers and I need to learn how to do it. That's great. And That's then the tactic. entire crowd would just go like, ooh la la. <laughs> and, uh, and then I couldn't stop them. I couldn't stop them. No, it. no, you can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah, then yeah. I, and, then, and then I would just go like, yeah, I don't know how to handle that. I don't know how to handle that. It's a good thing, but it's a short act, I'm thinking. Yeah, no, it was, I was so bad. Who, uh, who the stand-ups you like then? Who did you like going to see? When I was a kid, I yeah. used to go to New York when I was like 16. Uh, uh, this is in like 1984. I'd go see Seinfeld and Gilbert Gottfried. Oh, I love uh, Gilbert. I think yeah. Gilbert is one of the most underrated stand-ups ever. Yeah, he's fantastic. He's fantastic. Oh, that, I, saw, um, I saw him in Canada once. Yeah. Like, he got really mad at the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He started yelling about yeah. maple syrup at them. Yeah. And it went on for about 50. He said, I hate this place. You come off the plate and maple syrup is everywhere. <laughs> sliding down the street, the maple syrup is coming towards you. And it's coming. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> so funny. He's great. <laughs> and he, uh... He has a great new podcast now where he interviews, like, an older entertainment figure. Really? At, uh, I'm going to just plug other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He has a fantastic Well, podcast. we plugged your stand-up, didn't we? We you did. Wanna, we oh, did. You want to plug a movie? I'm sure you got one coming out. Plug it. Um, Let me think. I don't, uh, I don't have a movie coming out. <laughs> Is that it, then? Mm. <laughs> That could be the whole career. Oh, no, no you'll be fine. No, let, me, let me think of a movie to plug. Well, Seth Rogen made a movie. 
Okay. Uh, I'm not a part of it, but uh, the interview is very good. It's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think who else made a movie recently. I think. Oh, you know who's made a movie? Star Wars is coming out. The Star Wars. Bill Hader and uh, Kristen Wiig made that Skeleton Twins. Skeleton Twins is fantastic. Yeah, I, I haven't seen, seen it. Is movie. it good? It is very, very I'm good. I'm interested to see it. Yeah, no, we just made a movie with Bill Hader and Amy Schumer. Right. Uh, in New York called Trainwreck. So I guess if I can make Skeleton Twins a huge hit right. by plugging it right now, yeah. it will help my career. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost as if you understand how Hollywood works. It's almost like I'm very tuned into a certain demographic. Oh! <laughs> Let's see what the commercials are for tonight. We're just talking about what's so great about older demographics, yes, weren't we? Yes, yes. What do you like first about older people? Well, I think that, you know, older people have more money than younger people. Correct. Uh, so why are you appealing to a 22-year-old when you could appeal to a 46-year-old? Or a 52-year-old. <laughs> uh, we could buy all sorts of stuff. Like, for me, yeah. I could buy Rogaine. <laughs> I could buy nice and easy for men. <laughs> Maybe I <a> have already. <laughs> I could buy wart removal cream. <laughs> really? I have, you ever get a skin tag? No, sir. You know what that is? It's like a little ball of skin. And you have to have it like cut off by a dermatologist. <laughs> yeah, I got one something like that yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and you gotta have it like cut off. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they just like they freeze it and then they go, yeah. shush, shush, and then they send it. Yeah. They send it away to a to a secret land. Yeah, to see if you're gonna die from it. Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think they send it to Canada. Yeah. yeah. And then Canadians look at it and go, oh no. Yeah, yeah. And you're fine. Oh no, that's Gilbert yeah. Gottfried. Yeah. Because yeah. I had one of those ones like on my butt. On your butt. And so I was afraid to go to a dermatologist because I didn't want them to look at my butt. And then I realized like I was gonna have to cut it off myself. This is like Game of Thrones, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was gonna have to like figure out how to like make the knives uh, not give me diseases. What do you call that? Sterile. Sterile. Yeah, yeah. I well, so good. What you do if you wanna do this? Yeah. You get uh, two hot knives. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, no, there's a different thing I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, think, I think older people have to buy a lot, a lot of stuff. Like, I need, like, an industrial strength uh, back hair trimmer. Because <laughs> I'm very hairy. Like, I, I have a... Uh, I don't know if you're hairy, but... Not I, at all. I'm like a dolphin under here. Are you here. really? I, yeah, I'm like nothing. Oh, jeez, I am just like Alec Baldwin's hairier brother. Um, <laughs> I have so much hair on my back, I can see it, like, in my shadow. <laughs> <laughs> can I... Uh, do you mind if I... You can touch it. Yeah, there's a little. Oh yeah, yeah. Cushion. You can feel, you can feel yeah. it. Yeah. You can feel it crinkle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I could jump off a one-story building, land on my back, and be fine. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's a good thing, though. Yeah. Why would you want to get rid of that? That's well, great. Well, people like mock it. Like, you ever see TV, like a show, like a sitcom, and a guy takes his shirt off, and he's so hairy that he gets a big laugh because it's so disgusting. <laughs> and I always watch it and go, I'm hairier than that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it when you're here. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm not in that stupid 18... Oh, what's that coming to go? Really? <laughs> Turn up, it's over! is a weather anchor for uh, Primera Impacto. Is it Primera or Primera? Primera Impacto. Primera Impacto. I'm sorry, uh, no habla espanol. <laughs> it's on the Univision Network. Take a look at this. 
If only we could get someone to appeal to the 18 to 34 <laughs> male demographic. Please welcome the spectacular Jackie Guarizzo, everybody. Wow, you look, it's great to see you again. You look sensational. Thank you. No, I mean, really. Yeah, really, thank you. I well, wore no. all this for you. If only that were true. <laughs> I swear, I swear. No, come I on. Swear, I it's swear. not for me. I mean, I've never fit in that. Yeah, but I do. No, well, you no do, I feel yeah. a lot of pressure because I know you always, you know, into fashion and what she's wearing and giving compliments. So I'm like, I hope he likes my shoes. I, I love your shoes. I'm, like, I'm a little frightened because they look like they might be a little bit... <laughs> but they're not. Yeah, and you've got plenty of toe cleavage going on. That's good. Yeah, right? That's the new fashion. No, you, know? toe, you need yeah. a little toe cleavage, so like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Are you... I'm super happy to be back. I already feel at home. Yeah, so, you yeah. should. You yeah. should. I'm so very me, happy yeah, to see you. Nice you, you have no guys. idea. What, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chair comfortable enough for you? Are you okay? You? I love your socks. Thanks very much. They're tight. Nice. Oh, really? <laughs> You're lying. Let me, can I see? Sure, help yourself. Should I see? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's what drives the ladies crazy. Sure, see if you right? pull the sock down a little bit <laughs> and they see the shape that it's left in your leg. You know what? I don't only <laughs> see that. I see that we both need a tan. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you know where we could go to get a tent. Where could we go get a tent? Oh, Puerto you Rico. Oh. Yeah. Okay, what happened last time I was here? What you promised me? I promised you we would go to Port Hawaii? Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico. Rico, yeah. Puerto Rico. Puerto and what happened? Well, I, I haven't been, I'm available soon, but I wasn't available then. I know, I forgive you because I know you have a show when you're getting ready. Yeah, but you promised me we were going to Puerto Rico to dance some salsa. Yeah, well, uh, I need a lesson or two, but. Um, <laughs> and then there's the whole, oh, well, there's a few other things I need to take care of. Come on, you don't need much. I saw you had some rhythm. Well, you uh -huh. know, I'm a little rusty. And also, no, never mind. Now, listen. <laughs> what are you having there? Yeah, uh, just, just water. Uh, it's, oh, just really? a, it's a snake. This uh, is so cool. Who gave you that? That was a nice present, right? It was a present from a friend of mine, uh, Mary. Uh, oh, Mary. Mary McCormack. She's an actress. Lovely girl. Oh, okay, And cool. uh, she gave me a snake. She, a lot of, a lot of women bring presents. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring one. So is I it your birthday today? Is that right? Is it yeah, today? Yeah, it's my birthday. Oh! Yeah. Let me see. Go, Jackie. It's Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Well, first of all, let me see what I have for you. Know, you. No, I got you. You can have a. You there's a late, late show no t shirt right there. Idea. All right. And uh, how, would, how would you like a rusty trombone? Imagine would you like a rusty <laughs> trombone? <laughs> yeah. There you are. Okay, okay. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you, you what is that? No, you don't blow no, it like that. Give it to me, give it to me! Look, I'm going chew to wear... toy right now. Craig, listen to me. What? I'm going to wear this to do the weather. En primer impacto. I heard you say something Did I different. say it wrong? Yes, you I'm did. I'm sorry, I'm not originally from Puerto Rico. <laughs> but you tried. I tried, you I'm tried. sorry. Okay, I, I didn't mean any, I didn't mean any disrespect. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I really didn't. No, you no, understand I know, that. you try your best. I, I appreciate did. that. Yeah. I did, I feel bad if I upset you in any way. No, not at all. I I'll do the so weather with this one. I would so love to see that thing. Yeah, for sure. And what about this looks these? Fishy, yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Oh, this is a monkey, right? Monkey face? Uh, yeah, monkey face is on coconuts. So what do you do with this? Coconuts? Well, you we can... have a lot of coconuts in Puerto Rico. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call them? Did I say something wrong? Yeah. Well, you no, know, with my English, you got to be careful. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I just, I, uh, you pronounce it differently to me. Well, how did you how say you, it? No, you go first. Coconuts. Coconuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I, I really love it when you're here, I can't tell. The coconuts. Where's G? Hi, Gio. Hola, mami. Hola, papi. He likes it when you're here, too. Uh, feliz cumpleaños. Eh? Ay, gracias. Oh, gracias. Boy, you know me, I love coconuts. <laughs>
We got you some coconuts and a T-shirt. And, and the uh, other thing, I don't know how you call that. And 50 bucks. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this will help for my dinner tonight. Yeah. Oh, you going out for dinner? You go somewhere nice? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Yeah, to celebrate. It's my birthday. I, and here's another fifty bucks. Another and this is a bribe. Look. Yeah. Really? Let me. Yeah. It is. Really? Fifty dollars. <laughs> fifty bucks in singles. Fifty bucks in singles. Oh my God. Okay, I'm happy. My yeah. birthday gift. I'm yeah. keeping it. Yes, yes. You, you should it's keep mine, it. Right? I feel bad I'm that we didn't it. get. Uh, that we didn't get something uh, more for you. We should have got you something exciting no, and this different. Is, this is good enough to start celebrating my birthday here. No, it's very second good. Second time in your show. Is this is this your second birthday on the show, or just the second time you've no, been on the show? No, my second time here. Oh, yeah. right, right. And how are things going at uh, the weather then? <laughs> things are going super good. I'm super excited because I just finished filming my first movie. No! Yes! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank what you. What is it called? I finished filming A World Coming to Two. I played a detective role, so, and I have scenes with the rapper Riza, a romantic scene. I know Riza. You do? Yes, he's a lovely guy. man. Yes. He is, he is. So we worked together in the movie, and... Um, he's a Wu-Tang, you know. No, he's great. I mean, he has a lot of experience, and he and helps me a lot with the Wu -Tang. scenes. He's the Wu-Tang. <laughs> Boing, he's Wu-Tang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He has swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. He's been here a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not recently, though. Why has Rizzo not been here? Could you book him, please? Thank you. That'd be nice. So he can talk about our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have the rom romantic scene with him? A romantic scene, oh. yeah. How was Shut that? It was, it was good, yeah. The character... Don't bother booking him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you made out with him and stuff? I can't tell you much because then you're not going to see the movie if I tell you. It's not going to be a surprise, but it's coming up now in November in Netflix, so make sure you watch oh, it. Oh, I will, yeah. No. <laughs> well, why don't you come back and, and plug it then? That'll be nice. Yeah, I'll yeah be but here. you're going to the other show, which I'm going to... Oh, my late, late nights are not going to be the same. Well, you, what do you mean? Because... Oh, because... I will, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But I'm going to be following you. Yeah, <laughs> be following you. I'm going to stack you. Yeah, that's okay by me. <laughs> I'll listen to the sound yeah, of the coconuts yeah. as they come. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Jackie yeah. Grady, though, everybody. Yeah. 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 What am I doing, Jeff? You're warming your testicle by the fire. I am. <laughs> I'm also reading about Downton Abbey. Oh, yeah, you got a book there, I see. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the book of Downton Abbey, and uh, it's, like, got all the games in it, you know, <laughs> and stuff. D Downton Abbey games? G yeah, yeah, you know, uh, like, uh, guess who killed the butler and all yeah, that right, stuff. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's yeah, a fun yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever played Kill the Butler? Many times. Okay. <laughs> wow. Is that... Is that a sex it's thing? It's a sex thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was just thinking, I, you know, I, I like Downton Abbey. It's okay. Yeah, but it's, it's all right. it's not the show I'd want to be on. No, what would you like to be on? I'd like to be on Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's a good show. Lots of, lots of boobs, lots of blood. Yeah, that too. Sounds like... Uh, what, what, what would you like to be on? What, what would I like to be on? A TV show, yeah. Oh, TV show. Bo, you want to be on... What, what TV show would I like? Yeah, 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 I thought yeah. you were talking about... No, I know, I know. Oh, I, uh, Bones? Would you like to be yeah, on Bones? Bones? Yeah, Bones. sure. Bones. I like Bones. Yeah. No, I like, that, uh, I like that true detective. I like to be on that. Solving crimes. Season three? Season you can probably two. get? Season yeah. two, yeah, season two. No, season three. Yeah, season they've, they've announced it's going to be... Colin Farrell and uh, Vince Vaughn for, Vaughn, for yeah. season two. Season two, yeah. So season three, you and Alf the Alien Puppet. That's correct. <laughs> and we'll, we'll spend each episode eating cats and finding the butler. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>